I think we are now faced with a huge uh, challenge in both peace and security uh, and uh, development and human rights. I was president of the General Assembly to come back to, to your question back in uh, 2005 and 6, and uh, we devised this formula, Kofi Annan, uh, and I was part of that also. Uh, the formula that you've heard hundreds of times, uh, no peace without development, no development without, without peace, and none of the above without respect to human rights. Well, having said that, we must draw the conclusions from that relationship. And it is actually a very powerful signal for us all that we cannot work in silence, that we indeed, if we are to make a difference on the ground, and also on the policy level at headquarters, we need to see how the three are connected. It's like three pillars that are holding up a building. If one of those pillars falls down, uh, the whole structure falls down. And I've seen in my own work in the field, Darfur and elsewhere, that uh, there is an immediate connection between the three. And the more we realize that the success of us individually, whatever organization we represent, depends on the success of the team, then I think we should do this uh, not only because we, we say deliver as one, but it's also in our enlightened self-interest. The challenges are unique today, I would say. Uh, if you look at the peace and security side, I don't think I've ever seen this uh, much of a competition of brutality that we see in the world today. It's like you sort of try to beat each other in terms of, of brutality. So that's why I think you come back to basics. And for me, as you know, the basics is the charter. I think that the realities of the world is one reminder, and the fact that we have marching orders here, uh, and that uh, it is simply the best thing to do if we are to <coughs> prove that this organization is useful for the people. And that the best thing that one can do for one's citizens is, of course, to provide peace, development, and human rights in your nation. United Nations is a reflection of two things. United Nations is a reflection of the world as it is, whether we like it or not. And it's not a pretty place. It's a horrible place. Mm. And I expect from my people to be absolutely clear-minded, no rosy glasses on when it comes to dealing with those realities. We can't change some of the things that are around us. We better have a good handle over the situation as it is. But we should never forget that our job also is to stand up, or rather we are a reflection of the world as it should be. Uh, I'm an avid uh, disciple of uh, Dag Hammarskjö, uh, who uh, meant a lot for me in my life. There is one that I don't uh, remember fully, but he par paraphrases it, where he says, the future is two things. The future is the horizon, the vision. But he says also, the future is also the step you take tomorrow. And that's why the value base that we stand for, the principles and purposes, the preamble language here, is very, it's a very good guide for us. Because if you have those principles, you have the vision, you have the horizon. Well, I'm the type of person who stays. But of course, you will have to you will have to stand up for situations where you come to a breaking point, and you may have the other side simply deciding that you are PNG'd or they want you to leave. Of course, you've heard me say this before, or I'll say that before, but I, I, we will, of course, in those situations, stand by very strongly. It's not easy in those situations when the wind blows. I would say no names here, but I understand some situation where you really have a tough time. And I have been in your position. I know that you should let us know. You should expect us to stand up for you. I was asked uh, at a lecture uh, some time ago, oh, it's been a horrible world that you're painting. What, is, what are the hope factors? 
So <laughs> and so, well, I think I, I said spontaneously, A, women, and women's empowerment, which will come this century. Second factor, I think, is still youth. The, 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 the curiosity, the intensity of their dreams, their, the, 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 the capacity in their fingers. They have the world in their fingers, and they have, they have a, a reach that's incredible.